Okay. All right. Well, thank you uh, uh, for taking time out of your busy schedule. Could you just state your name and your uh, title and affiliation? I'm John Swanson. I'm uh, the chief of the kidney transplant program at Christina Care Health System. Well, thank you. So, why do you? Why was this in, this is important? Why did you feel the need for this? Uh, this, this event on chronic kidney disease uh, relevance to fish-to-water care. Right. Uh, my consideration for this being important to our care of our chronic kidney disease patients is the, the idea that we have to improve communication. Um, we have delays in um, getting patients listed because getting data from uh, the dialysis units is still faxed to us after somebody's copied it and then faxed it and then we recopy it, and then we have to start on our database. So one of the things that I find very interesting is getting the communication going, all the stakeholders being able to finally, uh, hopefully come together with uh, sharing databases, sharing information so that we can um, improve the care of our patients, cutting, making more, you know, issues of timeliness and those type of things. Um, I think it's also very important that we really focus on the idea of chronic kidney disease, not end stage. The focus should be on detection and prevention or treatment. And uh, as I stated in my discussion, I'm tired of transplanting young African American males at 35 because we knew that they had hypertension at age 22 mm -hmm. and that they <laughs> could have been treated and potentially prevented this issue. And um, I think from the standpoint of uh, disparities, it's an important issue that we need to uh, uh, increase our education, increase awareness. Um, and most importantly, <laughs> increased treatment as needed. Sure. And the, are you participating in the working groups that are going to happen this afternoon? Uh, I'm moderating a working group on transplantation questions. And so what are, your, what are your aspirations? What do you hope to get out of that working group? Well, my goal is, um, again, to look at issues to improve um, education regarding um, uh, transplant such that patients aren't afraid of it. Uh, we try to recruit our recipients who've been successfully through our program. I think one of the most difficult thing for uh, patients on dialysis is that all they know is that dialysis transplant fails because the only people that tend to come back to the dialysis unit are the people who go back to dialysis. Um, and so the other day I had the experience where we just so happened by the random chance that the uh, algorithm is for kidney allocation, three patients on, that used to sit all together were transplanted within about a three month period. Um, all successfully and on their way to a, a normal life. The patient across the, across the hall in his dialysis chair looked and said, what happened to those people? You know, he thought the worst. They said, oh, they got transplanted and they're, they're all gone. So after 10 years on dialysis, not going to get a transplant, he came to our clinic for a transplant evaluation. <laughs> so I think what I would like to do is improve um, uh, our use of our patients with experience um, because I can't, uh, an old expression uh, my father-in-law used to use, he was uh, growing up on the uh, reservations of South Dakota, he said, until you walked in someone else's moccasins, how do you know? So I have empathy for patients. I, I know the dialysis is not good. I've seen the promise of transplant. I see it every, uh, every other night. Um, however, I can't really convey that. So what I'm, we are trying to encourage our patients to do is once they've been successfully transplanted, can we encourage you to go back? We recruit you to be part of our army. Go back and encourage patients that this is what happens with transplant. Not failure, it's success the majority of the time. And so one of the things I'd like to do is be able to use this from the standpoint of using our patients in a good way mm -hmm. to encourage um, access to transplantation, discussion about transplantation, and uh, improving uh, access. All right. Excellent. And um, so what you've heard several presentations this morning, was there anything uh, that any of the other speakers mentioned that caught your attention that you think is worth illuminating? Right. Um, again, I think the focus on chronic kidney disease, not end stage. Yeah. And the idea that we potentially can manipulate at stage two, stage three, where we can actually potentially affect change, where we don't go on to stage four and five. Mm -hmm. 
it may happen anyway. And uh, you know, one of the discussions uh, with Dr. Cruz was about the idea of uh, uh, the APOL one genetics may prompt, you know, uh, trump some of this. However, I think one of the issues is she's come up with the idea that, or there's there's data that uh, wasn't presented in her presentation, but we were talking afterwards that potentially that the disease, the kidney disease, might be there and not the hypertension in these early people, mm -hmm. uh, the young people. However, it's still treating hypertension has got to be an improvement. But the other point is, could APL1 be part of a standard screening sc score for uh, particularly young African Americans who uh, develop hypertension early and then may go on to chronic kidney disease and then intervene at that point? Sure. Are there any uh, things you'd like to mention that I haven't asked uh, that you'd like to emphasize? Um, I just encourage uh, everyone um, to participate. Um, there can be, we talked, the, the last speaker talked about the financial issues and these other types of things, but ultimately the patient is going to benefit if we all sort of put those things aside and realize that some things might be proprietary and some things may not, but the important thing is, is that the patient should be centered, <laughs> center stage for all our decisions. And I think that I would uh, just encourage everyone to really think about sharing their database, sharing their information, and uh, providing the best care for our folks here in Delaware. Um, what are the goals of the, the study, and are they measurable, and do you expect any surprises? The I think, I, I think what, he, what he means is the goals of the, of the conference and the, and the workshops. Are okay. there any things that you... Okay. So th the goal of this uh, workshop is to um, actually apply our, our, our research in a way that patients see as valuable. Um, you know, we may think that something's valuable, but if a patient's not going to comply with whatever we decide, or they're going to think that it doesn't affect their lives, they're not going to do it. So I think the idea of bringing patients into this uh, realm of research and focusing on their concerns will certainly help them with their compliance. And if they see benefit from that, then the things we think are important, they may see that as benefit as well. 